careful with it. Okay, so second session we'll bow in and we'll get started. Okay, we're going to start real simple like we always do, like we always do. Feet, tuck them in, butterfly stretch. Now, unfortunately, like I say, I'm relying on rough guesstimates of timing for these stretches. I want to say 30 seconds of stretch because I can't time because my phone's obviously on a tripod. Okay, but remember this butterfly stretch. Feet in, you can hold up your hands and try and get those knees down. Okay, if we're doing this, you're not stretching anything. Okay, push them down. Okay. So, yeah, because a lot of this, you know, I'll be quite quiet for a lot of this because I'm just sitting and stretching. Okay, but get those knees down, and then all you can do is you're going to have a little flap in between. Okay. Just lift, just lift your back down. And um, if you want to work your hips, you can, obviously you can kind of press, but that's actually really awkward, especially, I don't know, I've always found that very difficult. Uh, you can get a friend to help as long as they're not stupid and just ram your knees to the floor and bust your hips. Okay, but ideally you want to try and use the muscles in your legs here, top, to kind of help keep your knees down. Okay, is what we're hoping for. Okay, if you can help push your knees towards the ground, it's a better stretch across the center. Um, because I've been doing this a little bit more recently, because I've, I've started to get a little bit more interested in my stretching, because I'm starting to lose my flexibility now I'm getting a bit older, um, I've noticed just by, just by doing things like this stretch in particular a little bit more, um, it ha it is, it's keeping my kicks kind of a li that little bit sharper. I'm, I'm just getting a little bit more of the snap back, a bit more of the snap back. Having a while, while ago, and then... Because I wasn't stretching enough, it, it just started to fade a little bit. I, it, I didn't feel quite as sharp as I should. Um, so just by stretching, I kind of got that back a little bit because it just helps the elasticity of your muscles, which for the way we kick, that snap and pop, that pull off, um, really helped, really, really helped. So yeah, I'll be doing a, quite a bit more stretching, I think. Uh, especially now, like I say, if I'm stuck in lockdown for a little bit longer, a little bit more, I could, I've got time to do it. Okay. Then what we'll do is we're going to keep one leg in, one leg out. And generally what I always say is, think about directions. When you're stretching, you think it's front, left, right, back. Not that you do much to the back. Um, but for this sort of stretch, what you, for this sort of stretch, what you're that's doing the stretch out in front goes directly forwards. Your back leg, the one that's tucked in, your foot tucks on the side of your leg, but your knee roughly points sideways if I'm sort of tucking it underneath like that like a figure four shape it's not going to do quite as much okay, I want that one all the way out so it opens my hips a little bit and I'm going to lean forward to that foot okay again I know you see a lot of people just sort of doing this trying to get the head down which is okay okay but really what we want to do is we want to think about getting our chest towards our leg okay we want to be leaning forwards from the waist chest down you can well, dip your head if you want, but don't use your head as like the stretching point. You just end up hurting your neck. Okay, so you should be able to have your head up as well as your head up as well as from if you lean into a stretch. Okay, so at the minute I've got a nice stretch along the back of this leg here, and I've got it right above, like or, or, just underneath my kidneys on one side. Kind of stretching out my back, my vertebra, and my hip from that point. Okay, then I'm just going to lean back. Reset, swap legs, and do the same on this side. One leg out, toes up, excuse my dirty feet. <laughs> Back leg is tucked in, knees pointing over there, and again, I'm just leaning forwards. But, straight leg. If this leg has got a bend in it, useless. It's not, yeah, it's, there's no stretch there, okay? I want a straight leg. Butterfly trying to get into my house. Little butterfly, okay? Straight leg, and then I want to lean forwards from the back. Okay, if you can do it opposite hand, opposite hand, stretch out this side of my back, okay? Or you can do two hands and lean right forwards, but again, you lean from your waist, chest down. I'm not leaning with my neck and my forehead, okay? Lovely. Now, I'm going to do the same stretch to the side, so you can see what I mean by shape. Okay, so foot goes that way, this knee points towards you guys, I've got an L shape, that right angle with my hips, and I'm leaning forwards, and again, I'm trying to lean, okay, from here. Okay, I'm not just dipping my head and trying to put like my head on my thigh. <laughs> yeah, impossible. Okay, you lean forwards towards that end point. You can use two hands to help you with that stretch. 
as long as you don't overstretch and hurt yourself, that's quite important. Okay, and now I'll do the other side facing the other way. Okay, so leg out, leg out, in, right angle hips, and again, I want to be leaning forwards. Okay, I've got a nice arc in my back here, okay, but I want to try and go chest down, not forehead down, okay? Not good for you, well, not good for your neck anyway, it gives you a hunch. Okay. Now, similar stretch. Yeah, move back a bit. Okay, but with a bit of balance work. Okay, so back foot, this one, ball of the foot on the floor. Okay, take your heel off and then try and put your bum on your heel. Okay, front foot goes out, so that means I can stretch this way. I can stretch into the gap if I want to push my hips back, and I can use my elbow if I want to do that knee there. Okay, it's always on a three point stretch. If I push my knee back, I should just about be able to reach my toe. But it doesn't mean I'm leaning forward, so your balance has got to be good. Okay, and then I'm going to swap feet, but I'm going to then do this forwards, so you can see it from that angle. So here, back elbow, I can push that knee back, I can switch that toe, okay, but I'm leaning into this empty space, so I say your balance has got to be good. Otherwise, you're just going to flatten into the ground. Okay, but we want to get that stretch going. Hold. And down. And then the last one, which we'll do a little bit longer, so is legs straight. And we'll do this as a three step for anyone that's doing this at home. Okay, so legs flat down, hands support your shoulders. Hands support your shoulders. This one's nice and simple. You lean forwards, you're gonna hang onto your shins, but you're gonna sit up as straight as you can. Okay, and go. So you're just gonna hold, keep your knees right down. Straight arms, straight back, straight legs. Okay, if I did this sideways on, which I might do in a second, it should kind of look like a triangle, uh, a right angled triangle from the side. I shouldn't be leaning forwards or have my knees up or anything like that. Okay? We'll do it this way actually. Yeah, so from here, I've been leaning on my arms, taking it easier. I straighten my back up, hands forwards, touch down, and I'll be here. Okay? Straight on the bottom, trying to sit straight up, hands down. Okay? Okay, so this is more about posture than anything okay i don't okay i don't all the time stretch i want to get everything in straight lines if i can for this one okay lovely 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 okay next one okay get to relax <sighs> and the next one you're gonna to go towards your ankles okay so your back's gonna arc stretching forwards trying to hang on with your hands straight arms straight legs go so we're going all the way forwards any of them ankles, but again, I'm trying to go forwards from the chest. Okay, I'm not just trying to throw my shoulders like I'm going to like dive off a board. Okay, I want to still be able to sit up, see what's going on around me. Okay, because I'm going to have a slightly better posture. And then back, and then the last one again, we're going to try and get right down to our toes. Toes up to the seams make your life a little bit easier. Seams make your life a little bit easier. Toes and then touch them. Brilliant. Okay, I'm not sure I'm that flexible today, to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna relax. One less tension in the back, and then we're gonna aim for them feet. Go! Hanging onto them toes, keeping those legs straight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then release. Ah, lovely, okay? So we'll come back to legs in a moment, because again, for most of my guys, if you're doing stretching sets, it's because you're gonna be in my main classes, uh, and even in our fitness classes, we do quite a bit of kicking as well, because we're, they're martial arts based fitness classes. <laughs> so we like to do, we like to do that. Ooh, yeah. Messy. Okay, <laughs> I've got chocolate or something on there. Snacking. Um, so we will come back to legs in a moment, but I do still want to do a quick arm stretch, uh, mainly because obviously I've just done the fitness session before this, um, and they're still a bit, I can just feel them being a little bit tight, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kneel rather than sit, okay? So it helps me get, again, good posture with my chest and my stomach and my back and that, so I can just kind of kneel up straight, okay? And then all I want to do is I'm going to go straight arm, support the elbow just behind the joint, 
Okay, I'm just going to come straight across the chest. I'm trying to keep my chest this way and get my arm over there, roughly straight. Okay, because all I'm doing is I'm stretching out the shoulder joint here, all across the top, and across the ball of socket, and across the ball of socket, and then relax and change. Okay, same on the other side. Trying to get my chest forwards, fingers pointing over there. Okay, and get this arm right across my chest if I can. Okay, and I'm going to swap. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and then change. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll do a few more of these so it goes hug, extend as far back as you can, and then let the elasticity in your muscles bring them back. If you can, you go extend, right arm on top, swap, left arm on top, right on top left on top okay just again so it's that extra slight bit of range of motion okay but you work with elasticity in your shoulder elasticity in your shoulder okay and just stretch out that joint okay but you gotta be controlled don't just fling them and hope yeah because otherwise like i say you're just gonna end up damaging yourself it, all of this has to be a controlled motion yeah you must be in control of it so you can stop it just in case okay the last ones hand over back again you can support the shoulder if you want to kind of push the stretch Okay, because again, if you haven't got that extra support, your elbow just sort of pings out a bit and it's not doing as much as it should. So you're straight back. Again, I want to try and sit up straight if I can. Keep my head up. Okay, and then we swap. And again, have that elbow pointing at the ceiling and then just supporting it here. I'm going to spin around just to see what my hand is doing at the back. It's when a kneel it comes up and over and I'll try and get my fingertips in between my shoulder blades. And then we come out and then we come out. Same on the other side, you're trying to get on just on the back of your head, sitting up straight, hand behind the shoulder blades. Okay. Just so it stretches all up this side and that side per stretch. Okay. Easy peasy. Um, before I go on to the, the thing that I bought, I want to show people because it's cool. Um, I'm going to do a box split. Okay, My box split is not brilliant, it's one of the things I am working at the minute. Um, and I'm going to show you two versions. Okay. Um, one of these, now I, I don't think he watches these videos, but I know, I know he's, he's, he's like the page. Um, there's a gentleman called John Smart, he showed me this ages and ages and ages ago, and it just sort of dawned on me, went, oh yeah, genius. Okay. Um, <laughs> so box splits, what a lot of people do, so it would do this, so it would do this, I'm just trying to get as low as you can, but I do know some people have real issues with their knees. Okay. And if you've got issues with your knees, box splits can put quite a bit of pressure on them. Okay, now, like I say, I'm not brilliant with box splits. It's not the best stretch, really. I'm going to move back so you can see my point. Okay, but idea, I want to get, if I get my elbows down, that's not a, a terrible effort, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but I'm not as flexible as it used to be. Okay, you can do it toes up. Okay, but like I say, if your toes up in particular, um, like I say, it does put a lot of pressure on your knees. And if you're a little bit older, I'm not, I'm getting older, but I'm not that old yet, but it, it really puts pressure on like the tendons as they stretch at the back of your legs. So we're really, really careful. Okay, careful. Okay. What General John Smart said was, take the tendons out of the equation. A box split really is designed to stretch your groin muscles across here, and your inner thighs and stuff. Which means that having your feet all the way out, if it's going to cause agony and be detrimental to the stretch, don't put your feet down, okay? Do the stretch on your knees, okay? Press yourself to ground like that, okay? Take your feet out of the equation, okay? Have your knees on the floor, you can push your weight into it, you can use your hands to move your knees if you're gonna really press down, okay? But it's really good for the stretch, and it really does not change what it's doing for the purpose of the box split, okay? So that was a really, really interesting one, okay? But it does mean that, when it does come to a box split, your tendons at the back of your knees are still not going to be used to it if you ever go back to doing a proper one. Okay, so I would like to give you both of those options. Okay, I'm going to show you them from the side. Put it back in. Okay, so when you do your box split, again, you, you've got to go steady. Okay, if you're not used to box splits, you start comfortable. Okay, and when I mean comfortable, I mean you should be able to stand in it. Yeah, you should be able to stand up with your feet X far apart and not be feeling wobbly or it shouldn't be uncomfortable yet. 
Yeah, you don't need to have your hands on the floor or anything. Okay, it should just be some way you can stand. Okay, and you go steady, steady, steady. Okay. And what I do always recommend is once you're in a place where you're stable, place where you're stable, only move one foot. Okay, so you think I'm for this instance, I'm gonna keep one foot stable and still, and I'm gonna use the other one to kind of shuffle. Yeah? And you shuffle and you shuffle and you shuffle and you shuffle until you start feeling the stretch and you need that help. Okay? And for me, like I say, generally I like to take my toes off the floor, wiggle in, okay, keep my heels down. Okay, and my goal at the, at the moment, okay, or my next goal, because I'm nearly there, okay, is to get my heels touching the lines at either side of two mats, okay, which is a two meter stretch. Now that is about what I'm aiming for. I'm about, oh, I'd say three inches away, okay, so I just need to push that a little bit more, just get a little bit more flex, push it down, okay, but like I say, I get it where, I get it where, I'm starting to feel it a bit more across the back of the tendons on the knees, okay, and it starts becoming more comfortable than I need it to be. Okay, so part of the thing that I'm gonna be doing to help the box split itself, is like I say, don't do it on my feet, do it on my knees, okay, just to help the groin stretch here, okay? So I'm gonna be pushing hips down, your feet behind you, okay? And it doesn't necessarily matter if I sit high in it, okay, or I lean forwards in it. It makes absolutely zero difference, but I can just push my hips down, okay, and I'll still get the box split effect, okay, but it is not putting unnecessary, unnecessary pressure on the back of my kneecaps and on my tendons and stuff, okay, if I'm not warm enough, okay, warm enough, okay, fit of the box split, okay, or what a box split is supposed to do, okay, but as other people know, I've also developed a slightly crunchy right hip <laughs> over the years. Um, so again, the stretching at the moment is more uncomfortable on the right side than the left. Um, but I think the more I do the stretching, the easier, it, the more it's gonna ease that kind of crunchiness. Um, because again, it's, it's just not been stretched enough in, in the last what, two years. Okay, oh, I'm gonna stand up on check time. Yep, I'm about there. Okay, so in the past, uh, I can't actually remember where it is. Um, I showed you a, a gadget that I bought. It was about, I think about 12 quid off eBay. It's really cheap. It's three bits of metal. You put your feet on like two foot holsters and it's got a third bit in the middle and the other is you pull the center piece of metal and it pushes your feet apart. So it's a, it's a box split, split. They call it a stretching machine. I think that's a very, uh, low expectation of what counts as a machine is three bits of metal with two bolts at the end. But it kind of does the job. But it's also quite indelicate, I think. It's, it's very, it's quite a clumsy thing. There's no incremental change. Okay, so, um, people like Century and Blitz who are martial arts suppliers, they sell stretching machines that are on a gear, okay? Which is this. Has a nice seat, you sit on. Sit your feet on it. And it's got a geared wheel. Which goes. It is very ratcheted, quite noisy. And this is one of the things that I've been using for a bit. For a bit. Because it means once you get to a certain stretching point, you have maximum control. Which is the thing that you must, 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 must have in a stretch. If your stretch has limited control, it means you are more likely to have accidents, okay? So if you lose your balance in a, a very deep box split, you can really hurt knees or, let's say, tendons or hips, or you might roll your ankle or something. Re yeah, it's bad. This, because it doesn't rely on my balance, it has no, I have none of my weight on the stretch, it means I can control it. I can do it one turn at a time, it's really slow increments, okay? And I can sit here playing PlayStation games, because I'm playing Minecraft at the minute, of all things, as well as Doom Eternal, as well as Doom Eternal. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you can just sit here for like half an hour playing games in a stretch. And then when you think, oh my, it's just starting to cool down, it's just starting to ache, and back it goes. Okay, you just make it a little bit easier, relax, have a walk around, do what you need to do. And then when you're ready again, you readjust your weight, and then you can ratchet back up again, okay? 
might look like sort of a medieval torture device. Um, but yeah, but this was, um, I say, if you buy them from Century and Blitz and places like that, they actually sell these things or play well. They're about 300 quid, they're really expensive. Yeah, at least I think they are, but that's because I'm skint. <laughs> but um, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. So I just typed in stretching machines, so I was selling it for 70 quid. Boom. I thought, yeah. And they were in Leicester. So I just went, went and got it. Been used, been used a little bit because the gear didn't sit quite right. Um, so that was, it's literally, I've got a, um, it's, it's, you know, strimmer, when you fit in the grass, the strimmer wire, the plastic stuff. Um, I've just put it through the, the hollow rivet and then tied it around the steering wheel bit. And that's it, and then just pulls the gear at the bottom up so it connects properly, so it's, I can use it. But it's it's really good because I'm not relying on having my weight over a stretch to push it. I've actually got something that controls it and it means I'm not bouncing in a stretch. And then that's it, when it gets a little bit too much, you just unwind, bring it back, there's wheels underneath, it's a nice smooth motion. So if anyone's, I'm saying it's a bit ratchety, but it's, it's obviously used, it's a bit older. But yeah, but I've, I've really been quite happy with this. Happy with this. It's been really, really useful just to, to be able to sit in a stretch for a longer period of time. And obviously when you're doing something else, if you're sitting in a stretch and you can watch TV, or like I say, I, I play computer games while I'm sitting in a stretch, it means that your mind is taken away from the stretch, which means you're, you naturally relax a little bit more. And if you can relax in a good stretch, it becomes easier over time because your muscles aren't going tight and they're not, they're not fighting the stretch. So I found this has been really, really useful. But like I say, if you can get one used, I say if you pay less than 100, um, I'll, say I'll, I'll burn it for 70, go for it. They are really, really good if you want something to help with flexibility because you have maximum control over your stretch. Okay, and you can push it as much as you want. Okay, you're not relying on. on you're not, I know it sounds really weird, but I know some people when they think about stretching think, oh, it's quite uncomfortable, so their motivation isn't there. Um, whereas this is different. It, you don't need to have your motivation there to push your stretch. You just wind it to the point that you need it to, and then just leave it, and then do something else, like I say. If you can play games, watch telly, read a book, whatever, doesn't matter. But it's, yeah, I found this to be a really good little gadget to to help with my stretching because the, the bar one that I was using, the really basic one, they're okay, but again, you, you don't have 100% control and it's really easy just to sort of be a bit lazy with it. Um, whereas this is different, you can push your stretch to where you want it to be and then just, you just, and then just, you just, it's not like it slowly comes back, which is the problem with the bar system. Um, and, and you can just sit there for ages. Okay, so uh, when I started using it, I just put it to a point where I could just feel the stretch, and then I say I'll, I'll, I'll like watch a whole episode of something, and then just do one turn of the wheel, which doesn't actually change the, the stretch very much, and then watch another episode. I was just binge watching rubbish <laughs> when I was getting used to it. Um, but yeah, this has been a, a really, really good piece of equipment if you want to uh, improve your stretching. They're really nice, but like I say, you can buy them new if you really want from Blitz, Playwell, Century, but 300 plus quid, it's a bit hefty. Okay, but yeah, there's, a, there's some no-name brands, uh, eBay's not bad, not, not bad, not, not bad, about 180, but like I say, Facebook Marketplace, sometimes eBay used, uh, as long as they work, yeah, 50, 60, 70, 80 quid, absolute bargain if you want to improve flexibility for your kicking. Okay. Um, right, that was General Fitness and... Yeah! Oh, my knees hurt. <laughs> that was general fitness and stretching today. Um...